二零二二年第廿五條係有關於植物嘅向性嘅，咁達爾文咧就做咗一系列嘅實驗啦，就去研究下一個杯牙鰍嘅幼苗佢嘅向光性反應，咁佢就預備咗一個單質嘅光線嘅光源啦，就照射住呢啲杯牙鰍嘅，而喺三日之後咧就去觀察下呢啲杯牙鰍嘅外觀啦。咁喺呢度咧先提下大家啦，當我哋提及杯牙鰍嘅外觀咧，我哋係有兩個導向嘅。第一個導向咧，就係佢有冇成長到啦，有冇生長到啦。第二啦，就係講緊佢有冇一個 bending， 有冇一個彎曲啦。而呢個彎曲咧，有兩個概念嘅，因為我哋講緊向性啊嘛。咁所以啦，佢係可以分為咧 bending towards 嘅，向住咧嗰個單側嘅刺激去成長啦。另一個咧就係 bending away from 啦，即係咧係彎曲而離開嗰個單側嘅刺激嘅。咁所以啦，喺呢個 set up 一二三咧，我哋又睇一睇先啦。set up 一二三分別啦，如果我哋要用翻文字嘅方法去形容佢哋個成長咧，莊子一咧，佢係有成長之餘咧，仲會轉彎嘅，就向住個單側光咧而生嘅。而 set up two 咧，就淨係成長嘅啫，咁冇 bending 喎 ，no bending。咁點樣形容啊？一係就話 no bending 啦，一係咧就係、是、grow strictly 啦，就係、是、打直生啦。去到第三咧，都有成長喎，有 growth 之餘咧，亦都有一個 bending 嘅。而你今次呢個 bending 咧，都係 bending towards 向住呢個單側光而生嘅。嗱，咁嘅實驗結果咧，就俾曬大家啦。而家咧就睇翻題目問乜嘢咯？題目就問啦，根據翻達爾文嘅實驗啦，咁究竟有以下嘅句子咧，係可以推論到出嚟？成條題目咧，其實都係考翻我哋嘅傳視技能啦。就係、是、考我哋點樣去得出結論啦。嗱，今次嘅題目咧就講推論嘅啫。而呢個推論咧，如果受到實驗嘅結果所去支持咧，就能夠成為結論噶啦。所以兩款題型咧都係非常之相似嘅直線抽擊答題法啦。我哋唔需要諗太多嘅，實驗嘅結果講咗啲乜嘢就係乜嘢啦。我成日講嘅讓數據説話就係呢個意思啦。咁啊，大家把握機會咧，睇翻呢兩段片，温一温書咯噃。然後啦，就逐一擊破啦。第一句咧就講啦，生長素係由個杯牙鰍嘅頂端咧去產生出嚟嘅。呢一句説話咧係錯嘅，我哋係需要一啲額外嘅裝置去做比較啦，從而得出結論嘅。咁所以第一句咧。本身咧就已經係錯咗，咁我哋同翻 A、B、D、C goodbye 咧，答案已經出咗嚟噶啦。不過都係嗰句啦，做題目梗係有翻啲體育精神，兼且學一學嘢啊嘛，係咪？咁我既然講到明啦，要一啲額外嘅裝置，咁究竟有啲咩嘅裝置可以幫到我哋咧？咁啊睇翻題目嘅右手邊咯喎，咁實質我哋有幾款裝置咧？係可以加落去幫我哋得出呢個結論嘅。首先啦，就係加 B 呢個裝置啦，就係、是、嗰個頂端咧係斬咗去嘅。咁所以啦，我哋有翻呢個裝置 A 同埋 B 啦，兩者嘅比較之下咧，我哋就會知得到啦，有頭同埋冇頭啦。有頭就會識得成長加轉彎，冇頭咧又唔成長又唔轉彎。所以啦，比較翻 A、B 杯牙鰍嘅結果咧，我哋就知道啦。杯牙鰍嘅頂端對於個杯牙鰍嘅成長係好重要嘅，但係好重要還好重要啊！佢咪會生產生長素咧？鬼知咩？所以啦，我哋就要有埋下面呢三個裝置 A、B、C 咯喎，都係俾人斬咗個頭去嘅。不過啦，佢哋個特別之處咧，一個就有翻個頭咧個頂端咧，就搏翻上去個 A 嘅 block 停之快嗰樹嘅。而另一個咧都係斬開咗，而中間咧就攝咗一個雲母片嘅。有咩咁特別呢？原來鯨脂塊咧就容許化學物質去穿透、去移動嘅，但係雲母片咧就係、是、唔容許呢件事發生嘅。所以啦，比較翻呢三個裝置咧，你會發現咯喎，有翻個頭，佢係會成長加轉向、生向個單側光嘅喎。所以啦，根據翻咧呢三款嘅裝置，我哋就知道啦。原來啦，喺個杯牙鰍個頂端咧，佢係會產生一種物質，係一種化學物質，佢係能夠穿過到個鯨脂塊，就穿唔過雲母片嘅。而呢種化學物質，當佢由個頂端向下移動嘅時候咧，就能夠刺激到個頂端以下嘅部分咧，就成長啦。而我哋將呢種化學物質抽取出嚟咧。
我哋就俾個名佢，佢個名就叫做生長素啦。咁所以咧，係要咁多個額外嘅裝置咧，我哋先知道原來個杯牙齒嘅頂端咧係能夠產生化學物質，而呢種化學物質就叫生長素啦。然後啦，就睇埋剩餘兩句咯噃。第二句就講啦，杯牙齒咧係能夠顯示到一個正向光性嘅。其實呢句説話啦，我哋利用翻裝置一咧就已經能夠推論得到啦。因為正正就係一個完整嘅杯牙鈔啦，咁就經過三日嘅單質光照射啦，佢就會成長同埋轉向單質光啦，所以第二句係正確啦。去到第三句啦，就係、是、杯牙鈔嘅頂端咧，係負責偵測到個光嘅方向嘅。呢一句都正確喎，因為啦，當我哋比較翻裝置一同埋裝置二同三咧，我哋就會發現得到啦。裝置二咧，我哋就一個不透明嘅蓋就笠住咗個頂端嘅。第三個裝置咧就係、是、不透明嘅鈔，就遮住咗杯牙鈔頂端以下嘅部分嘅。咁當我哋比較返裝置一二三，亦即係比較返我哋呢度裝置嘅 A、C、D 啦。原來 A、C、D 正正就係我哋嘅一二三啊嘛，笠住個頭同笠住個身啦，我哋就能夠顯示得到呢。原來笠住咗個頭呢，佢成長嘅喎，但係佢冇轉彎喎。咁所以啦，原來呢，佢係對於單質光敏感嘅。所以答案咧就係二 and 三 only 啦。Two two two question twenty five is about the tropism. Darwin performed some experiment on the study of the phototrophic response of the chelioptide of the young stealing. The chelioptide in each setup was exposed to the UV lateral light source, and the appearance of the chelioptide after three days are shown here. So before we talk about the question, I would like to talk about the appearance of the chelioptide. So how can we describe the appearance? There are two aspects. First aspect is about the growth. Does the chelioptide growth longer? And then the second one is about the bending. It means that it either bending towards the unilateral stimuli, for example, the unilateral light, or does it bending away from the unilateral stimuli? Well, let's take a look at the result of setup one, two, three. For the setup one, the chelioptide it growth and bending towards the unilateral light. And for the setup two, it just growing but no bending. Therefore, we use the word strict to describe the growth. And setup three, the chelio type also growth and bending towards the unilateral light. So let's take a look at the question: Which of the following can be deduced from Darwin's experiment? In this question, is checking us the synoptic skills, particularly drawing the conclusion. You may ask that. Mr. Lam, this question is asked about the deduction. So actually, the deduction with the support of the evidence of the result of the experiment, so it will become the conclusion. Therefore, we still need to employ the skills straight to the point to answer the question directly, based on the experimental result. Let the result speak. And you can also watch this video to revise the question type of biology. So let's take a look at the deduction one by one. Deduction number one: auxins is produced from the tip of the chelioptide. This statement is wrong. The reason is that this cannot be deduced from the experiment setup one, two, three. We need extra setup for the comparison and for the deduction. Therefore, we can say goodbye to statement number one, and then the final answer will be option C. I'm saying so. Before we talk about the deduction two and three, we talk about the extra setup to learn something from this question. We need the first extra setup is setup B. We need the we we need to remove the tip of the chelioptide, and then we can compare the result of setup A and setup B. With the tip and without the tip, the result of the kilo type A and B it shows that the tip is necessary for growth, and that's not enough. So after we know that the tip is necessary for growth, so how can we deduce that the tip of the kilo type can produce something, produce the chemicals for the plant growth? So we need three more setup A, B, C. So setup A, B, we also remove the tip. But in the setup B, we put the tip back, 
and set up C, we also put the tip back. However, we put the agar block and the milk plate in between the tip and the body of the kiliotide. For the agar block, it allows chemical to pass through while milk plate does not. And from the result, we can see that the decapitated kiliotides with the agar block and with the tip joining back it shows the growth and the bending, bending towards the unilateral light. So based on the result of this free setup, we can deduce that the tip produces a substance that is chemical in nature. It can pass through the agar block, but not the milk plate. And then the chemical moves down from the tip and cause growth below the tip. So based on this extra setup, we can deduce statement number one. Oxin is produced from the tip of the kiliotide. And then let's take a look at the options two and three. The kiliotide show the positive phototrophic response. Option two is correct because from the setup one, the kiliotide it really grows and bends towards the unilateral light. It is the positive phototrophic response. So, and then for the statement number three, the tip of the kiliotide detects the direction of the light. This option is also correct because we can use setup one as the control setup and compare it with setup two and three. It's just like we compare setup A, C, D, and then we can see that that is what I'm saying. And then the result it shows that the tip is sensitive to the unilateral light. We use the non-transparent cap to cover the tip. And then we use the non-transparent shelf to cover the body of the kiliotide. And then we can see that after we cover the tip, the kiliotide only grows strictly, but no bending. Therefore, statement two and three, they are correct. And then the final answer is C.